Bohr atom practice. What is the energy of the light absorbed when an electron in a hydrogen atom makes the following transitions from n equals 1 to n equals 4? So we're going to use the equation delta E is equal to 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18 joules, 1 over the first n minus 1 over the second n, and those n's get squared. So this is going to be equal to 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. The first n is a 1, so it's 1 squared minus 4 squared. So this is 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18 times 1 over 1 minus 1 over 16. So make sure you do the part within the parentheses first in your calculator, and you will get an energy of 2.04 times 10 to the negative 18 joules for A. For B, n equals 3 to n equals 8. Again, we're using the same equation. This time, it's 1, o it's one over 3 squared minus 1 over 8 squared. So we have 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18 joules, 1 over 9 minus 1 over 64, and get an energy of 2.08 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. And for C, from n equals 2 to n equals 4, same equation. This time, 1 over 2 squared minus 1 over 4 squared. And that gives me an energy of 4.09 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Number two, consider a quantum dot that emits yellow light with a wavelength of 537 nanometers. What is the energy difference between the initial and final energy levels resulting in this yellow light emission? Well, this is a real fancy way to say what's the energy. So we're going to use the same equations we used in the previous module. E equals H nu. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to combine it with this equation, C equals lambda nu. So what I'm going to do is use this one to solve for nu. So nu is equal to C over lambda. And then I'm going to substitute. So E equals HC over lambda. Now I'm going to plug in my constants. There's H, there's C, divided by my wavelength. Now I need that wavelength in meters, and how I do that is I multiply my nanometers by 10 to the negative 9 meters. And when I do that arithmetic, I get 3.70 times 10 to the negative 19 joules, but that's joules per photon. Here's the really important part. When we take this joules per photon, now we're going to calculate, well, how many, how much energy would be emitted if two moles of photons? This is joules per photon. Now I'm going to use this as a conversion factor. So I'm going to start with my 2.00 moles of photons. I will then convert that into total number of photons by using Avogadro's number. So one mole of photons is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd photons. Now I'm going to use this as a conversion factor, 3.70 times 10 to the negative 19 joules per one photon. So now double check your units. You have moles of photons canceling with moles of photons, individual photons canceling with individual photons, and you're left with joules. Multiply all the numbers across the top, and I get an answer of 4.46 times 10 to the fifth joules, or 456 kilojoules. They are both the same number.